What is good guys back here with another YouTube video and in case you cannot tell by the title below this video will be my review of Ring of Honor Super Card of Honor uh, show including a zero hour which is their pre-show equivalent kind of deal uh, so yeah let's get going. So there were four matches on the pre-show. First one was Cole Cabana versus Blake Christian. It was a, a good opening match on a pre-show. Nothing against uh, either guy. It was like the right place on the card. Next was AQA versus Miranda Alazi. I think that's how you pronounce uh, the name. Uh, good match. AQA, it was the first match of hers I've seen. She had a really nice uh, shooting star press. Then uh, first of like two or three times I marked out during the pre-show, uh, Cheeseburger and Eli Isom uh, marked out for them, and then they faced Kong, or Khan, uh, and Toa to uh, the new tag team for Tully Blanchard. I don't want to say obviously, but if you look at them and kind of where they are, you could tell that Khan and Toa uh, would win. And the second, third, fourth, millionth time I marked out was one Joe Hendry because I've really been enjoying him for the last couple of years. So I marked out, um, I believe in Joe Hendry, and then I marked out that much more for Dalton Castle because uh, Joe Hendry was advertised for this show. Dalton Castle was not and Dalton Castle for those who don't know is my guy and Dalton Castle did pick up the uh, win so I'm happy that he Castle won but it, it kind of sucks that uh, Hendry lost kind of deal but it was still a really good match uh, for the uh, pre-show hour zero or zero hour I should say. First match on the main show was Swerve Scott versus Alex Zane. Definitely the right choice, high pace, go, go, go kind of match in a good way. Uh, Swerve Scott, to the surprise of probably no one, I would think, picked up the victory over uh, Zane by the, uh, I think it was called the JML driver, something like that. I might be wrong, correct me if I am, uh, and whatnot in a really good, really fun opening match. Second match on the show is Brian Cage challenging um, uh, Ninja uh, Mac and whatnot, and this was the mystery person uh, that Tully Blanchard uh, Enterprise brought in, and I legitimately would have been happy with anyone else kind of deal. Like, Joe Blow from, like, the cheap seats would have been more, for me personally, entertaining uh, and whatnot. Like, I'm uh, I'm just not feeling it, and uh, seeing Ninja Mac actually have a, not necessarily burn burner, but, like, a good five, seven minute match against somebody else I was legitimately looking forward to. And no, it's just just Brian Cage with a wannabe mohawk wolverine beard thing uh, and whatnot. Next match, you had Jay Lethal versus Lee Murarty. I think that's how you pronounce his last name or something similar. Uh, Jay Lethal won. Sanjay Dutt is in the audience and uh, like I said, lethal one in a good lethal match kind of deal and whatnot. I want to see more and more of uh, more arty, but pretty much what happened was the referee was distracted with something. Lethal hit the low blow, then lethal injection for uh, the win and whatnot. And like I said, I want to see more of Lee Mur more arty kind of deal, or however you pronounce his last name. But this match, I don't want to say it's middle of the road, uh, but it was a, a good a uh, Jay Lethal match kind of deal considering it's Jay Lethal. Then you had your second of two women's match. This one is to uh, be crowned the new interim women's champion Mercedes Martinez versus Willow in a match that could have been cut in half and it would uh, be either just as okay, if not better than okay, uh, and whatnot. But either way, it's cool to see Mercedes Martinez win. Eventually, her and Diana Peraza will crown to become the new uh, Ring of Honor Women's uh, Champion. Mercedes uh, won by submission. I did not catch what the submission's name uh, was uh, and whatnot. But either way, like I said, cool to see Martinez pick up the win. 
Next match was uh, FTR versus the Briscoes for the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships, and I said it on Twitter, I'll say it here, I don't know for sure if I said it in the live reaction, but FTR Briscoes 1 should have main evented, and 2, best match of the night so far, probably best match on the card, um, and whatnot. And I personally cannot recommend this match enough. Go out of your way to see it. FTR um, and the Briscoes for the ROH tag titles. And yeah, eventually Young Bucks came out to my surprise uh, and whatnot. Pretty much uh, FTR challenged them then and there. And uh, Young Bucks said no, but Wednesday we will uh, and whatnot and like I said definitely go out of your way to watch this match it lived up to my hype lived up to a lot of people's hype that I've seen online and yeah FTR um, Briscoe's uh, match of the night more likely than not and after that barn burner, you have a new Ring of Honor World Television Champion in Minoru Suzuki. I have a previous video uh, sharing my um, live reaction to it. Definitely check it out. And Red Titus, one of my guys, just meh about this uh, kind of deal. Wish the match was longer primarily and whatnot, but either way... Uh, so so match uh, and whatnot and uh yeah minoru suzuki is your new uh television uh, champion in ring of honor next match is wheeler yuta versus josh woods i always want to call him uh josh the goods woods because that was uh, his nickname uh and whatnot overall this match i was uh, it was a good match don't get me wrong very technically sound match but i was kind of wanting or expecting more kind of deal especially after wheeler's uh, match from last week on aew or the week before kind of deal and whatnot but either way good match to uh begin the new reign as a ring of honor pure champion in wheeler utah so the main event was jonathan gresham versus bandito in a good match i would say the match was give or take 25 minutes and the last five minutes were better than the first 20 but a lot of people will either know or random or not not random but would know or remember uh this card for what happened after the main event jay lethal came out uh then sanjay dutt came out uh they attacked uh, jonathan gresham and then lee moore arty uh came out uh they got their he got his butt beat and then Samoa Joe made his return to Ring of Honor. I did a live reaction to it. Definitely check it out if you have not done uh, so already and whatnot. And overall, it was not necessarily the best super card of honor uh, kind of deal. Definitely check out the uh, tag team match uh, kind of deal. Uh, zero one not zero one zero hour uh, was definitely good for pre-show and then smojo returning kind of blew my mind i know that tony khan uh, mentioned something about hey don't leave right after the main event because you would want to see what happens next didn't think too too much of it but yeah it ended up being smojo and again i would love to know what your thoughts and opinions are on uh the uh, overall Supercard of Honor down in the comments below. While you are down there, feel free to hit the like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it would mean a lot to myself if you did. More importantly than doing any of that, hope you guys are doing okay mentally, emotionally, and physically. The world that we tend to make up is nothing but a fantasy until you wake up. I feel like I'm just lying to myself. Lying to myself, yeah. Cause I just crossed the line like I'm playing offside I do it how I want and I'ma do it till I die I feel like I'm just lying to myself But it's